All green lights, everything's a go Money on the table, count it real slow Pull up that rosé, twist up that Cali drove When you hustle hard, no matter what is the info What it do, Ski Sun Duelist? It's your boy Vibe Jim Blog TV Coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio Now I just got done watching the Lakers versus the Spurs game, and for those who don't know, the Spurs won 91 to 79. Now, I'm going to talk about this game. I'm not going to get too in depth with the game. If you guys watched it, I'm pretty sure you can see what pretty much happened. Now, both teams started off a little bit shaky. You know, offensively, they wasn't gelling, shots wasn't falling down, but mainly on the Lakers side, their shots was not falling down at all. Now, you guys know I said if Steve Nash play, they have a chance to win this series. Well, hey, I'm starting to change my mind because from what I saw, they cannot stop the guards from going to the paint, attacking the paint a lot. Tony Parker, Ginobili, and, and, and others was attacking the paint a lot. Rather they was missing them, missing their shots, they were attacking the basket. And when they was on point, they were on point. The Lakers could not stop them at all. Um... And, you know, this is just from the first half of things. The White Hire had 14 points, 6 and 9, shooting 7 rebounds. Tim Duncan had 13 points, 6 and 8, 4 rebounds. Powell had 10 rebounds and 6 assists. And both teams were shooting over 42% at the time. Um, you know, Lakers was playing some good defense. They've been playing good defense lately. And I have been playing great defense, like that's going to shut you down. But they've been playing good defense lately. They caused the Spurs to, you know, players to miss a lot of shots and things. And the Spurs, they was playing good defense also. You know, you have a guy in Tim Duncan who I'm still shocked that's playing at a high level at his age. And this guy is bringing it night in and night out. And just, you know, with the other players contributing and Ginobili coming back and Tony Parker and Kawhi Leonard and, and, and just everybody else, this team is going to be a problem. Now, the Lakers in the first half, they had 12 turnovers, and the Spurs only had four turn turnovers. The bench had 19 points for the Spurs. Lakers only had six. Um, and fast break points, Spurs had seven. And, you know, that's going to kill the Lakers all the time, these fast break running gun type teams. Um, at one point of the game, the uh, Spurs, they end up breaking away. Every time you thought that the Lakers was coming back into the game, the Spurs would just make a little run. And the runs killed the Lakers. At one point, they were on a 16-point 16, 16 um, point run, the Spurs. And they just, the Lakers could not kept, catch up. They could not score. This is where they missed Kobe Bryant at. Because if Kobe Bryant was in this game, it was periods where the Lakers was only down by like five points. I'm pretty sure Kobe would have kept this team in the game a lot more. Now, they used a lot of pick and roll with Steve Nash. But it's like their shots was just not falling. Now, in order... For the Lakers to bounce back, like I said before, they're going to have to use Pau Gasol and Dwight Howard a lot in the post. Now, Dwight Howard can't shoot them damn jump shots. He just can't do it. He just, just can't. Just can't do it. Yes, he made one, but he can't do it. You know? And Pau and them, they're going to have to just dig deep and just dominate Tim Duncan and Tiago Splitter. Now, Pau has 16 points, 16 rebounds, um, 6 assists. Played pretty good. The White Hire had 20 points, 15 rebounds. Played good, had two blocks, but he's going to have to play even more and better. The White Hire is going to have to average like 26, 27 points in this series. Steve Nash, he was doing good. I like what I was seeing with Steve Nash, but he was a little bit off. 6 of 15, shooting 16 points. Other than that, Antoine Jameson, Earl Clark, Jody Meeks, like, they're nowhere to be found. So I like what the Lakers was doing for the most part. But they just want to find a way to score more. Now, as far as the um, the Spurs, those guys was clicking. They was looking very, very well. I mean, Tim Duncan had 17 points, 10 rebounds, um, three steals. He was playing pretty well. Um, you know, Parker looked at pretty. You know, he was playing pretty well. You know, he shot bad, but he played pretty well. Um, let's see, what did Ginobili do? I don't even see Ginobili. Okay. Ginobili had 18 points. He played pretty well. He shot okay. But, you know, those key, those are the key guys. Ginobili, Parker, and Duncan. This is what's going to get this team over the hump. Plus, they play good defense. And then they have the others who can step up and make some key big shots. They can just make shots come at you in all kinds of spurts. Now, the Lakers, they shot 41% of the game. The Spurs shot 37%. They was 32 or 85 from the field. Lakers was 30 or 73 from the field. 
They shot 66% from the free throw line. The Lakers Spurs shot 80% from the free throw line. Um, Spurs had 32 points in the paint, 17 fast break points. Lakers had 40 points and only two fast break points. That is, that is just sad. But, you know, overall, they played, you know, it was an okay game. Lakers had a chance where they could have took advantage of the comebacks that they were making, but they didn't. So this is why I say they're going to really, they would really need Kobe Bryant because his additional 20, 20 something points possibly could have beat this team. But it is what it is. Um, they play. They will play again on Wednesday to get a couple of days off to to get you know get some rest and stuff like that. So if you guys watch the game, tell me what you thought about it. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook. Check out my previous videos. Um, comment, subscribe, favorite, please like, tell a friend, tell a friend about me. Make sure you go to deadpip.com, livemixtapes.com, and download MGM Grand by CJ De Niro. And like I told you guys, I just realized something. The White Howard needs to develop better post moves. Because he can't, it's like he can't knock anybody off the block at all. Like, you know how Shaq used to back you down, and when he back you down, he can dunk on you? Dwight Howard don't do that. He can't do that. As big as we think he is, he's not that big. But anyway, that's a whole nother video, man. Do and remember, guys and girls, make sure you click the subscribe button, watch the previous videos, and like the videos.